Hi everyone, it's Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home and I'm continuing with my house tour series today. Uh, I am in our upstairs bathroom to show you our upstairs bathroom. And if you've missed any of my previous house tour videos, I do have a playlist. I'm still pregnant while I'm fil filming this and I'm giving you guys some fun things to watch while I'm recovering from having my baby. So. Uh, let me take you around our upstairs bathroom. Well, I'm standing in the hallway outside of our bathroom and we have a mirror, just one of these basic, I think this one came from Bed Bath & Beyond. I have this really fun shower curtain, it's navy and white striped, it came from Amazon. And it's kind of cool, above our shower there is an archway, which is kind of unique I think for being an older home. This house was built in 38 I believe. Behind the door I have two of those over the door hooks from the Dollar Tree to hold my towel and my husband's towel. And this is hard because of the glare, but this is a frame from Better Homes and Gardens line at Walmart with this lovely watercolor R that Melissa Michaels sent me. Uh, and I love it, so I framed it. <laughs> Here is our vanity and it's kind of like built in a little bit. But um, just the reality that I don't have a pretty soap dispenser and I am the mom that puts a rubber band around the top so my kids don't like use half the bottle in one hand washing session. <laughs> uh, my hand towels come from Walmart. They still carry these. We've got our toothbrush in there charging. I still have not painted because we recently replaced this piece. I still haven't painted that. That's just reality. <laughs> but um, this, uh, what's it called? Um, medicine cabinet actually came with these baskets, which was cool. So we have our deodorants in there and then like our nail care stuff in here. And then in this part, I have all of our like toothbrush type stuff. And yes, my kids, I just, I can never get that to not be a problem. We do have a toothpaste dispenser downstairs in their bathroom, but it's easier for me to help them brush their teeth upstairs. I don't have to go up and down the stairs with my pregnant belly. So we have that set up for now. And then hair stuff at the top so that, you know, like things that do with hair or shaving aren't on the same level as things that go in the mouth. <laughs> It's just, you know, one of those things I'm weird about, I guess. This is a false drawer. This drawer holds, um, like, these little face clean, clean pads, uh, Q-tips, my hair ties, hair brushes and combs, my very small collection of makeup, I'm not a big makeup person, and um, makeup pads and a mirror there. And then the next one down has, these are like the free samples and stuff that I get or travel size stuff. Band-aids and uh, ointment, uh, flossers for the kids, and our toothbrush travel case and my glasses case. And then under here, I guess it's okay, but I um, my, have my hair dryer and curling iron there, it's kind of dark. In here is my husband's shaving supplies. Um, this is our old toothbrush charger. I think we can probably get rid of it now. And then uh, feminine supplies there in the front. Down in the bottom, this actually pulls out, which is kind of funny, we didn't know that at first. I have ring cleaner that I've had for years and it still works great. Uh, one of those little fuzzy roller offers. Um, sunscreen, that'll still be good for next year. And then supply backup, Q-tip backup. This is basically where I keep my backups. Um, shampoo backups, this little fuzzy sucker upper that I love, I made a video about it. First aid kit, and then down here is my sewing kit. So next to the vanity is our lovely throne area. We actually replaced the toilet with a uh, water saving toilet because our other one broke. And my sweet son is the one who is responsible for changing this garbage. And he put like a bright yellow <laughs> um, bag in there and I didn't correct him because he's just so sweet to do his chore every day. I didn't correct him. But anyway, I have some milk glass in our window sill. I love how you can see the beautiful neighbor's trees over there. But uh, just some a trio of milk glass vases with some faux flowers and our poopery. Do you guys use that? We like it. <laughs> and I love this cupboard because um, it's great storage in this tiny bathroom. But on this top shelf, I keep uh, the wipes for cleaning the toilet 
And then this is an old candle jar full of my homemade toilet cleaner. It's basically a mixture of borax and baking soda. And then down here, because we need to go to Costco, but this is usually full of toilet paper. But uh, tomorrow's Costco day. <laughs> so this bin right here holds all our towels. Um, this is our sort of more linen storage. I have extra um, throw pillows that I'm not using. There's another one back there on top of extra baby blanket storage. I have my hand soap stockpile, um, extra bed linens, baby towels, and back there where you can't see are our beach towels. Up here I have some more blankets, uh, one small, one big, my iron, and then uh, bath toys here. And this is unusual, but I keep my paint here. <laughs> I know that's unusual to keep in a linen closet, but uh, it just doesn't work keeping it out in our garage because our garage is detached and far away and I don't like that the temperature extremes mess with the paint and make it harder to use later. So I, I know that's weird, but then up here we have our luggage. Um, behind that we have stored our blow-up mattresses, sleeping bags, and then this goes to our little baby swing. Always fold the bath mat over the side of the shower so that it doesn't get disgusting. And that is the bathroom. I hope you guys are enjoying this house tour, kind of seeing how my house is set up and enjoying seeing my home. You guys, um, be sure to check out the other videos and let me know if you have any comments. Take care and I'll be back with more soon. Bye.